My name is Cube6 here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to hook up a button or a redstone torch key to your doors uh, to make them a lot easier. Now, I know a lot of YouTubers haven't really done a tutorial on this, so that is why I am here, and hopefully I can clear up a lot of the issues that you guys are having. And maybe get some of you guys that are new to redstone actually into redstone. Let me go ahead and show you how to hook up the button. Now, these designs will only really work for a levered power door like this one right here. Um, if you have a button like this one here, since it uses a button, um, it's already a T-flip-flop built in, so all you have to do is click the button once to open it, go through, and then have the same button line go to the exact same line that your buttons were originally on. Now, believe it or not, this is all you have to have. So there are two things that actually make this work, and the first thing is a button. Obviously, this is highlighted in white wool, and the second thing is the highlighted in green wool. Now, this is actually a T flip-flop. Now, what a T flip-flop does is it converts a single button output into a constant output, and this is what we want, and as you can see, it's just gonna work exactly like that there are other designs and you can go ahead and take a look at them on the internet so this is another design but it's pretty much the exact same thing so if you hit a short button pulse it will go ahead and convert that into a constant output just like this and then if you hit a short button pulse once again it will turn it into one output so that's exactly what's happening right here we have the button going into a t flip-flop which will run into a piston with a redstone block which will spit out the redstone block and go into this repeater and then it will power the whole door so if you go ahead and give this button a flick as you can see the whole entire door will open up give it a flick once more the door the door will close up um now if you want to add a button to the other side so say if you're going to be walking in this way and then exiting this way or vice versa and go ahead and make your button so i'm going to go ahead and make my button right here and then go ahead and connect that button all the way up to the original button that we made so this one also closes the door and over here this one also opens the door now some of you have been asking what about pressure plates you know i want to walk through my base that is pretty much the exact same principle if you just go ahead and connect these pressure plates to the same redstone line that is on all of the buttons and going into the t flip-flop then it should work exactly like it's intended so if you go ahead and have just opened this door walk all the way through the door will not close behind you if you want to go ahead and walk outside of your base all you have to do is walk wait for it to open then walk all the way through again like that so i'm not going to be making a block for block tutorial on how to make this because obviously you can see what's happening just one thing to keep in mind that there is a sticky piston facing upwards right here and that actually kind of drives the whole t flip-flop okay so now let's go ahead and take a look at the torch key again if you have any comments with this last section and you want a little bit of help then go ahead and comment those down in the comment section below but hopefully that will cover it and hopefully you guys can get a better grasp of redstone but now it's time to move on to the torch key now there is again two steps to the redstone torch key the first thing is obviously the torch key which is this little mechanism right here and then the second thing is obviously the t flip-flop now you can use a different T flip flop design and I already went over the two designs that I find and I use a lot or you can just use one on the internet and search it up but I'm just going to be using this one right here and again this has a sticky piston right here facing upwards just to make that clear. So this is the torch key design that I'm going to be using in today's video. Now obviously if you have a better torch key design or you have one that you are going to be using for your redstone contraption then you can hook that up as well. I'm just going to be using this one as an example. If you want to know how to build this exact design then go ahead and head over to this video that is in the top right corner right now also it will be down in the description below and it will be called torch keys i went over a ton of different methods on that video so go ahead and click that video if you want to learn a little bit more about torch keys and how they work also i made in-depth tutorials on each design that i showcase and i showcase a whopping six designs um but i will be going over how to build this design in today's video so as you can see if i put a torch on this block or this block it will go ahead and actually activate the whole entire redstone contraption. Now, if you want to hook up a button from the inside, that is the exact same way like the button tutorial. You just hook up a button to this redstone line that connects all the way to the T flip-flop. And that is the same exact principle with the pressure plate as well. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at how to actually build this torch key design. All right, say that my torch key is going to be right to the left of this flower, so I want the torch keys to activate here and here. Let me go ahead and show you how to build that. First thing you're going to do is dig one block underneath this block right here. 
so right here and place a sticky piston facing upwards just like that so that is already one torch key done if you place a torch right here it'll go ahead and break it that is exactly what we want but now we need to add the method that destroys it once you place a torch key right here now that is very simple all you have oh yeah shoot now that is very simple all you have to do is go around to the back side and underneath this block destroy this block and then place a sticky piston right here. So if you're confused, this is what it should look like. And this was a normal piston, by the way. Then go ahead and destroy this block just adjacent or diagonal from this normal piston and place an observer facing upwards so that the red side right here is pointing downwards towards bedrock. Then make sure to place a block on that observer's face and then dig out a block to the right of the block that you just placed and add one redstone peter with zero ticks on it going straight into this block, which will power this piston. Now, if we go ahead and see if we place a redstone torch on the ground right here, then it will break it as well. Same thing if you place it right here, it will break it as well. That's exactly what we want. Now, how do we take an output from this design and hook it up in to the T flip flop. All you have to do is grab an observer and place it one block away from this piston right here. And so the red side is facing away from the piston. Now you can do this in multiple different ways. It doesn't have to be right here. It can be right here, or it could also be right here. It just depends on what your landscape offers. But once you do that, I'm just gonna have it right here for, an, for example. So once you have that place right here, all you have to do is grab one redstone repeater and place it right here, just one block away coming out of the red side of the repeater, set to four ticks and that, you can hook up to the T flip flop line, which would be right here. And that is the same thing we have on the example, just an observer coming out from a piston, going into a four tick repeater that'll go down and into the T flip flop line. And ladies and gentlemen, that is how you make a redstone torch key hook up to one of your redstone contraptions. Now, if you found this video hard to follow at all whatsoever, then please make sure to comment below. I do try to keep these tutorials pretty beginner friendly, but I don't know if I did that. So please make sure to put down in the comments below if this helped you. If it didn't, then I will personally attend to your problem down in the comments below. So please leave your comment. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Rescube6, and I will see you in the next one. And uh, goodbye. And you